Hey Soup, what's up buddy? Uh, it was nice working with you last week on the Kent Hovind thing and thanks for the support. And it's nice to have you weigh in on this. Um, and I do respect uh, your work and I understand the position that you're coming from. I think you kind of missed a little bit about what I was trying to say and what I was trying to get at. Let me explain what I mean and I, I kind of took down timeline a little bit. Um, at 47 seconds in through your video, you talk about how um, that we're using the DSM as complete truth and that we're doing exactly what we like, don't like that theists do. But in reality, we are, um, we're, if anything, not using the DSM as complete truth. We're proposing that the DSM should list theism, and it doesn't list it currently. It doesn't list theism currently, and yet we say theism is a mind disorder. So we're not using the DSM. I, f I found that claim to be unfair. Um, at 103, you talked about the great thing about the DSM is that they revise it. I agree, and that's, that's my point. That is exactly our point. Um, in fact, I think I said to somebody the other day, I said, um, where do you see the DSM-6 when theism is listed? And he goes, um, dude, the next DSM is the DSM-5. And I'm like, I know. It, it'll be in the DSM-6. I don't think we'll be ready for it, number five. Um, then at 124, you said that we're cherry-picking. Uh, the DSM, and I agree, that's also our point. That's what we said in our videos. Um, in fact, uh, let me see here as I quoted it. Um, we're setting forth that the normality that you spoke of in the following minute or two, that you spoke of the Gaussian curve, it's called, right? Yeah, well, yeah, essentially just that all, the entire field of psychology is based on societal norms, which I did address in the video. Yeah, Kelly actually pointed this out in the video, you know. Um, we recognize some of the videos that are coming back now, you and Golden Gun. Um, I mean, no offense, guys, but both of them are kind of like restating what we've already said. Um, yeah, theism isn't abnormal enough yet to be listed in the DSM. I think what we're saying is that all of the other conditions of delusional disorder fit theists many of the time. I mean, the big religions don't fit under this whole normality clause. Um, and we're setting forth that one day religion will be less normal and all of the other factors will be in place and we will be able to consider it and list it in the DSM as a mental disorder. Yes. Talking to God will be just as completely idiotic to the average person as talking to your dead great-grandmother or calling up spirits through a Ouija board. 355 through the video you said that um, that um, you know you gave the example of grandiose delusional type disorder as it refers to a god and somebody who thinks that they have a special message from god. Now I'm not sure why it says this but um, I wasn't cherry picking, maybe if anything this is a good example of why Wikipedia sucks. Um, now um, in my defense I have seen it elsewhere, but Wikipedia does not list it in the wording that you used, and you can look up uh, delusional disorder in wiki and then go to grandiose, of course I'm sure well, somebody will the, change it in the next five the, minutes now. In the DSM-4 it actually says a special relationship or communication with a deity. No, he was pointing out and you said you read it, but he pointed out a piece where it doesn't have it. By the way, Kelly has read the entire DSM-3. Well, well, I read the DSM-3R. So, like, read it front to back, and you made some sort of claim about, like, us not knowing what we're talking about. This is one of our areas of expertise. So, um, like, read the whole thing. Like, complete uber nerd. Like, read the whole thing. That's me. Nerd. So... <laughs> Anyway, um, I think you guys are missing the point, you know. All of the conditions except for the normality of uh, theism fit. And um, how about, you know, we encourage the theists to start answering some of those hard questions. And, um, you know, whatever. You know, I wasn't cherry-picking the DSM. Uh, I was actually quoting Wiki, which if you look up the explanation from Wiki... Um, it is similar elsewhere. You talked about the fact that a mind disorder would be somebody who believed that they had a special message from God. I know tons of Christians like that. Tons. I know tons of Muslims like that.
puns, okay? So you basically have made my case for me. I mean, yeah. you said that these are the people who would be delusional, not all theists. I admit that there are varying degrees of delusion. Um, if you take like a deist, like a Thomas Jefferson sort of deist, at the bare minimum, I think that that person is being dishonest with themselves, and they are deluding the uh, reality of their existence and the reality of life. They are deluding themselves, and it is akin to a smaller delusion. But yes, there are tons of people who are, they think they have a message from God. Um, our president is one of them, and uh, they fit exactly what you just defined as a psychologist, as grandiose delusional disorder, and I hope that in a response video you would agree with me on that point. Uh, it was a pleasure making a video for you, um, and uh, I like you, man. I like you a lot.